welcome back to another episode of Last Down of Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Today, still, there is no revenge raid happening. I do not understand why we have not been raided in like almost a week at this point. So pure shenanigans, but no worries. That is not going to get in the way of us and a raid today. So that is something that we are going to be hopping into along with doing some bunker stuff because we got some mad unboxings to get to go on over there. And before we dive into that, we're probably going to be needing the code FOTE today in today's marvelous sequence of numbers to get y'all into the bunker is going to be 03480 if that's out of date by the time you're trying to use it make sure to check that comment section down below for an up-to-date version of that numerical sequence brought to you by the fan freaking sensitive community here at the snipe gang one i uh, encourage y'all to go ahead and join by making sure you're subscribed to the one now but without further ado boom what you guys are seeing right here right now this is awesome this right here is the new location coming if you guys remember just the other day we found out what the next update is going to contain it is going to be containing the winchester rifle and a new location that new location was unknown until today what you guys are seeing right here and right now is the police station and before we dive into what we are seeing over here there's some additional explicit information i wanted to make sure to explain so first things first boom what you guys are still going to be seeing here is a series of screenshots shots from the last day on earth discord and this is going to be detailing some more stuff about the police station so the new location means new zombies maybe with some unique behavior meaning that cloud over here is kind of uh, kind of hinting towards uh some new zombies over in the police station most likely police zombies or something like that kind of how like the farm had some unique zombies with it as well so very excited to see what that is going to do but not just that that is what i asked uh, hey 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 could we push Schnaz be getting a little something? Kind of like the farm has the Ravager. It's kind of like a mini boss at the end. And it does appear that that is how things are going to be moving forward. Boom! What you guys seeing over here is some explanation on what we can expect at the police station. And that is going to be blueprints and customization parts like lens and stuff meant to replace the army camp in some way. The army camp was kind of planned to be like the kind of like the farm, except for like guns and stuff where like you can get like gun blueprints you can get like all the gun parts that you need to make mods etc etc so the police station is kind of going to be taking over that role and just kind of like shade over there is asking for clarification like factory parts too and yes sir the factory parts indeedly do that will be and if you guys are confused cloud is a member of the kafir team so this is accurate information that we are getting and finally boom the last of the series of screenshots detailing some more explicit information and this is clarifying that at first the police station is going to be an event type where does pop up every once in a while but then it will turn into a location such as the bunker slash the farm once everything is working properly and okay with it so absolutely amazing news containing this and i cannot wait for that very next step because 1.9.5 is not just going to contain the police station but also the winchester and honestly i could definitely see the winchester having a solid drop rate over here but it is great to see that we're going to be getting gun mods because that means hopefully we'll be able to get some very dope winchester mods from exploring the police station but over here we do have a screenshot of the police station and some of the things that it does contain right now. So this is going to be what appears to be the relative layout of the police station. Now, there might be more to this than like just the police station at like the location, you know, because it does look like there is more area outside of just the building. Although like, you know, that could always be changed moving forward. But the way it appears is that you have the entryway over in the front and then a variety of rooms you will be able to step into. It does look like a traditional, it, it kind of looks kind of like the farm where like you can kind of like choose which barn like not which barn doors but you know you can kind of like choose which rooms you want to enter and i'm guessing each room will have a specific reason for being entered but nonetheless very cool to be seeing a dungeon kind of like design like this and i definitely cannot wait to get to dive in and hopefully find in all sorts of dope parts but the dopest area is most likely going to be what i mean what every police station pretty much has which is most likely going to be something along the lines of like an armory that is probably where the good stuff it can to be expected and also if you guys are going ahead and taking a peek over at the top ish area of the screen that appears like it might be a little bit more textured than the rest or something like that but it does look like it is gonna have a little bit of like a broken down type of vibe and that upper area appears to have like a lot of those like kind of I, I think that's where like the jail quote unquote is going to be because those do look like very small rooms that would kind of match that of a jail cell and then all the way at like the north corner of the police station you guys are seeing something that also looks like it has a one-way mirror slash 
one-way glass, meaning that might be kind of like where the interrogation type of room was. And then over uh, actually outside of the building, we are seeing some additional materials and assets that are going to be spread out. So if you guys look over in the upper left, you guys can see a variety of things up there, but they appear to have a common theme. And that is stuff like weights. If you guys look closely, you guys can see a variety of weight stuff. I'm guessing that's going to be mainly for one of two possible things, either a, a courtyard for the prisoners, although I, this isn't supposed to necessarily be like a dedicated prison, but uh, they might still have like a courtyard for like the prisoners to be able to go out in and actually like exercise or something. Or what it also might be is a workout room for the police officers when they were at the police station. But yeah, if you guys are looking at that upper left area, you guys can see a variety of like training room slash weight room type of stuff. So that's one room you can definitely expect. We're already seeing a conference room that appears to be relatively decked out over in the kind of like the lower left portion of the map. Like I was saying, it looks like there's jail cells and an interrogation room up top. Then in that middle area, the courtyard slash outside type of area, unless maybe that's just not been textured yet because this is a work in progress picture. And then if you guys do take a peek over at the bottom left area, you guys can see a variety of like billboard, not billboards, but a variety of like boards that you put notes on, bookshelves, that type of stuff, most likely for like the detective area where like, you know, kind of like some of the officers would be working on their stuff, desk work, that type of jazz. And even I think I what, what appears to be a fax machine. So that is a whole ton of dope information about the new location uh, coming in 1.9.5 along with the Winchester. And I cannot wait to hear what y'all got to say about that in that comment section down below. Would that be your guys' original thoughts, your guys' thoughts on my thoughts, anything you guys might want to add in, any ideas y'all might have for it? Because get them on the hype train, lads. Things are getting super dope. And I'm just so excited for that location to come for us to go check it out, see what it holds, have a place to go, a dedicated area where we can search for those gun mods and for the necessary like uh, items we need to finish and build our mods. All in all, that is some dopeness that I am definitely looking forward to. But regardless of that, can't wait to see what y'all got to say in that comment section down below. And around the comments, we're starting the way into the week. It's dollar and through such place. Store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well as make sure to like button. Make sure to subscribe. That's where you win on today's video. Y'all go ahead and turn on every single last video. video. When said it was our pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off the week and give away that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure to stay tuned with that notification bell. And to stay up to date with every single opportunity you got to enter on and not to mention the latest of last day on earth information just like we are sharing today of course the latest of update gameplay as soon as that comes because you know we dive head first into that type of jazz to showcase what there is showcase what to expect and hopefully showcase proper ways to deal with it and maximize the shenanigans y'all can do while having a fan for fantastic time throughout not to mention all the other dope survival games we are checking out throughout and check it check it boy -ho -ho. yeah we're getting the floppy this today because last time we were ridiculously close but last time was a, a very bad day last time was the day where like the internet issue started i think like my freaking hard drive ran out of memory the the freaking we didn't get enough stuff out of hard mode by that much it was just a rough day, but today is going to be way better. We're getting a poop ton of loot. Hopefully a dope-tastic raid. And already, dude, we got an early look into... Let's go! That's an engine pod for the collection. Thank you kindly. And a little bit of food, too. Mm -mm -mm. Let's make sure we're getting the medical supplies that will help us with our journey. And double Kalashnikov! Oh! Out of the yellow crates! Hokey donkey artichokey, this is something I can get behind. If that's the type of things we can expect, that's the type of things I like. We are gonna also be bringing a set of this armor because uh, we're, we're, it's, it's, it's about to break. Our SWAT armor is definitely not uh, holding shape. It is definitely about to be as broke as can be. But for now, let's take out all the zombies in the way and get going. But dude, I'm having a jolly day because just the other day, like for real, the Winchester was revealed to be in the next update in some kind of new location. And already we have confirmation of what it is. We have an early look at what it is and the hypeness. Oh man, the hype train is going on full steam, baby. This is when the excitement comes because dude, like just the pure, like dude, the updates they've added in in 1.9, like first the weapon update, then the Farm, now a police station, the convoy event, and we're only gonna be around like 1.9.5. Dude, it has been an absolutely nutty series of updates, and I seriously cannot wait to see what else it holds. And the dude, whew, 
that police station, man, that's going to be a great place, especially if it leads us to getting the fully modded Winchester because, and it's going to be an event too. So like, I, I think it might actually like pop up a couple of times a day initially. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I don't think they're going to make it like ridiculously rare. Kind of like the Oak event is, you know, where that one pops up. Uh, I don't want to put a number on it because I'm not sure. I don't keep track of how often that thing pops up, but I want to say maybe closer like the Oak clearing. Like, I, I don't know, maybe I see it like once a week, once every couple of days. I'm pretty sure the police station is going to be more common than that to begin with and then like i'm saying that change into a permanent location that is gonna be very very dope and oh speaking of dope we got the shotgun that's right the blind one is going to be dealt with in the most proper of ways and we got the puppy helping us out today as well but for now let's just kind of bring the toxic spitter back so i can deal with this guy 1v1 but yeah dude that police station and mm. I just want that new update already, dude. It's seriously going to be bringing some super dope stuff. But I, today's been a pretty good day, man. To oh, my God. Like I had one health left. That could have been very bad. But today's definitely been a super dope day so far. And I said that the, the police station confirmation and early look into it and information about it has definitely done awesome. So for real, dude, I can't wait to just have a giant smile across my face when I'm reading through what you guys got to say about it. Because I already know how hype I am. I want to see how hype you guys are. And I want to see how dead this turret is. You know why this turret? He, he, he talked bad about my mama. He, he said my mama was a uh, I, I, bad, bad, bad cook. That's a lie. My mom has cooked up some of the best meals of my freaking life, dude. She is, oh, let's go. Yeah, dude, I, I, I shot my bullets so angrily at the turret. It, he just didn't know what to do. But yeah, dude, mom, my mama, my mama, she's an expert chef, man. Her chicken teriyaki, mwah. God, do I love me some chicken teriyaki. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm almost like Terry and yogurt. And if any of you guys understand the Terry and yogurt reference, I might love you just a little bit more. Psych! I love everyone, man. As long as y'all keep it in favor, fantastic. What is there not to love? Besides toxic spitters, I'll see you later. Your schmucks and my pupper is helping us out. And down you go. I got to invest in some AK mods, dude. But, dude, I, with the Winchester on the horizon, I'm saving all of my weapon stuff because I want to be able to max out the Winchester on the ASAP when that comes because that seriously looks like it's going to be a promising weapon and the fact that it I, at least the way it's looking I'm thinking it's going to be dropping from the uh, police station as well that's going to be another reason we can go to the police station kind of like how the farm had the scythe ooh that's actually a perfect thing too because like the farm had the scythe with it that was kind of like the quote unquote weapon like the unique weapon of the farm the Winchester might end up being kind of like that for the police station or maybe it ends up being findable in other locations too who knows but you know what else I'd love to hear from y'all what you think the boss will be like well i maybe like the police chief i could kind of see that happening but it, it's gonna be interesting especially because like it's gonna be interesting to see like what is kind of like unique mechanic is since every kind of boss even like the ravager which is kind of like a mad type of boss you know he's not super spooky but i mean if you play him wrong he can definitely get spooky with the way he destroys your armor but uh okie dokie one sec here what i gotta do is devour me a whole ton of jerky give me a little bit of hydration and an extra inventory slot but yeah I, it's gonna be interesting to see what his unique twist is kind of like how the blind one charges into areas the uh ravager spits on you and destroys your armor the witch calls her minions and has, has the like occasional super attack like it's gonna be interesting to see what the cop does you know but if he is a cop that's just kind of like my most educated guess since it would fit the police theme pretty well but dude the the theme of the day, at least for me, is the hyper train. And of course, the mode of the blind one in an envious rage train as well. And dude, check it out. This is amazing because we have a little bit more health than, uh, whatchamacallit, than the standard 100. And this guy currently does, okay, first things first. What I gotta do is a whole ton of shotgun raid type of day. I just gotta stutter step between shots because, oh, there we go. Got that last one off just in time. We did a whole ton of, uh, whatchamacallit, 250 damage to him pretty much. And the puffs helping out a little bit. Let's have him run into that. That. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's continue. Dish it out a little bit of damage. And we're, dude, can I bring him down to? Oh, dude, I brought him below 500. No, no, no heal for you either, buddy. But yeah, we're going to be able to kill this guy in four waves. Except, oh, no, my pupper. My pupper is getting tired. But doing this with a full military, or yeah, with military armor is honestly perfect with first aid kits because he will literally do in five hits, which is 
the amount of time it takes for him to finish his quote unquote wave of damage. In five hits, he will usually do a, oh no, 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 no heal for you. My puppy is tired too, all right? My puppy's supposed to be helping during these trying times when the blind one's trying to kill me, but he'll literally hit me five times for 20 in between charge attacks, which is perfect because if you guys don't know, the first aid kit heals exactly 100 health, making it an absolutely ideal situation for the alls of us. And I think we're gonna need one more wave here to be able, yep, we're gonna need one more to be able to take the blind one down. I know sometimes y'all ask, stop, why do you wait until he charges into the wall to shoot him? The reason for that is to save my weapon durability. And dude, I can't believe we just killed him with literally, oh, oh my God. That's actually one of the, dude, he used to take me like over his shotgun, but having the proper mods doing critical hits and waiting properly until like he charges into the wall and not wasting your attacks. Because if you, if you attack him while he's attacking you, you do way less damage due to the armor that he is rocking it right now i'm rocking 30 red tickets that's a red ticket crate we gotta go ahead and chow down on uh sorry pup i don't have any treats for you but it's all right we'll come on home and the awesome thing about puppies is if you make a pit stop at home your true friend dog will regenerate you don't need to give it a treat every time it's tired you just either you you can give it a treat or you can go back home and then the puppy it can rest you know so that that that's good that is very good because that the the, the dog treats can be a little bit uh difficile it's a get, but the fact that you can pretty much recharge him for free ski doodles, you just have to make sure to make a pit stop at home. I think that's pretty fair, but hokey dokey, back to the first floor we go. But yeah, dude, taking out the blind one with the shotgun is mwah, magnifique. I just love using the shotgun to take him down, man, and to acquire this marvelous loot with which uh, we'll be able to do some good stuff. But th that's just awesome that the full military armor does make him do 100 damage. So even if you have one level in this perk right here, it's going to be risky. It's going to be spooky, right? But uh, this level right here, every level you get, you guys can see I got five. Every level gets you two health. You actually get this from gaining EXP into the bunker that we are doing right there. Although it does tend to get kind of grindier the more you level up. But uh, whatchamacall, even just one level will be awesome for you because then you'll be able to withstand 100 damage damage in one volley of his attacks but yeah, if you attack him while he's attacking you and while he's not stunned from charging in he just won't do as much damage so it's kind of a waste of shotgun but i love that our shotgun was able to do the doo-doo all over him what you got for me oh dang it well we got some modded guns so that's kind of nice i'm gonna go ahead and equip the swat armor because that's always the thing that i like the most let's definitely get some stuff dropped off for this guy over here um i wouldn't Mm, all right, here's the thing. We're going to get the floppy disk next time just because for now we are pretty set in terms of uh, C4. I'm not in need for C4, and that's kind of like the main time I go after the floppy disk anyway. Like, we have four C4 in our chopper. We're ready for the raid, so the floppy disk will be an adventure for another day. But in the meantime, let's make sure that we're turning all that in and making the progress towards the next level and, of course, uh, freeing up some inventory slots for all the stuff we still got to pick up. And I'm probably going to ditch that SWAT armor that's pretty much broken since it, it's it's pretty much broken. I, uh, I ain't got a need for that. This weapon be on the other hand. And I got a need for that. And, and the chopper fork. That's a good thing to take home. And I, I already have my chopper built, but you never know. Could be useful in the future. And if a trading and or even trading amongst the clan is a thing, I'm going to be happy to help all my clan members down the line with some of the items that I got stashed up. Because I'm a man of the people, dang it. And if my people, my clan people need something, I will do what I can when that time comes to make sure our clan is as prosperous as possible. But with all, actually, I'm going to do really quickly here because our inventory is full, right? Okay, it's going to do a take all. So that way, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very good. Always want to do this. Just take all because maybe you missed something and it'll also be very helpful because you don't have to look for open slots, but it'll just automatically stack anything that you might need stacked. But with that out of the way, we must venture back to home base and we must re organize our inventory into the raiding configuration and once that is done that is when the raid comes into play and here's the cheeky thing here's the good thing god dang it pup it can't at least come to the motorcycle so i can give you a ride dude this this puppy doesn't even run around me he just uses teleportation he's a next level type of pup but uh what's my call if you guys take a peek at this thing on the map it is not like one of those generic names it's not like player bunch of numbers it actually is a name which usually gives me a little bit more hope that you know they care enough about the game that they're invested enough in the game to 
care about changing their name. So uh, hopefully that's a good sign that there will be good loot to be had because we do have four C4 in our chopper at our disposal, ready to do some damage. I just hope it's not another electronic circuit raid. I have been getting smacked in the face with those lately, but, 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 but. The good news is, at least the, the, when I've been getting smacked, I've been getting smacked with stone walls that I gotta waste my C4 on! At the very least, I've been using my uh, level two hatchets and it's been like wooden bases, which is, at the very least, we have that. At least we don't have to use our C4 to find out we're being disappointed, you know? But uh, I'm gonna get to Igor. Uh, organizing. I can't English today. I'm gonna get to organizing stuff. Hopefully, y'all cross your fingers that we get revenge raided at some point because it is just not happening, dude. Like, if you guys have been keeping up with the series, we have not been revenge raided in a hot minute, and I I would like that to change. I like revenge raids a lot, so let's get raided so I can have a revenge raid, please and thank you. But uh, I'm gonna get to organizing, and then we're gonna get to raided. So, talk to y'all. Innocent. And what you know, boys and girls, we are looking nice and prepared for this raid to come. Just gotta go ahead and whip ourselves up a couple of these level one hatchets. We already got the level two hatchets ready. We got the high explosives in our chopper, which honestly, in, in, in real life, would probably be a bad idea because, I, I don't know, chopper hits a bump in the road. Boom! Before C4, that'd be a pretty big boom. I would be in like a bajillion different parts in like 50 different countries, all right? That'd be a pretty big blast radius. But uh, let me just find a place to put this stuff away. Who deserve we go? We are good to go. We got a couple more first aid kits to go ahead and toss into there. Let's go ahead and just take a quick chug of the jug. No, this ain't Fortnite, but there's a giant jug where we collect water over here. I guess you could call it a water collection thing, but I like calling it a jug. It's a lot more catchy. You know, for Fortnite was really onto something with the name Chug Jug because, uh, well, it's pretty much a glorified big jug and I always come here to do the, uh, to do the chug and also to do the spreading, ceremonial spreading, may I say, of some vitamin P, which is actually a ve very important vitamin that everyone should, uh, should, should be getting into their lives. I guess we're not going to be spreading it during the raid, but, hey, that's A-OK -okay with me. Let's get a little bit more hydration up in here and let's get her going. Now, I am kind of risking it because I don't know if these two weapons are going to gonna be enough but i hope they are and if not i'm ready to get in a punching contest with whatever uh whatever zambies are left over but we got the food we got the hatches we got the boom all that's left is a quick cross-country road trip to this fella's base and hopefully at his base we find a map to the police station I, I do not think that we will find a map to the police station i don't even think that maps exist in last day on earth besides well this map that we're looking at right here but god dang it I'm thirsty for the police station. Vic, I need answers. I don't care if you don't got them. Give me answers, dang it. I want police station. I want Winchester. I want it now, because you know I'm going to be playing the Jesus out of that. When the time comes, and dude, ooh, dude, I just, I, honestly, I think, mm, there's so many things I'm excited for, honestly, between the Winchester the location itself, the boss, like, uh, that's got, like, a pretty nice trifecta of dopeness to be looking forward to, and we are at zero noise out of this raid, but it appears that this person cares enough about their base to at least put some, put, put, out, 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 mm -hmm. okay, 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 I don't think this is gonna be a completely garbage raid. That's the good news, but I think it kind of weird news. Uh, well, it's it's not a stone base raid, but it, I, I think there's actually hope for this being a let's go. You what, lad? You what, me? Really? This is this is what I'm getting in the pickup truck outside the base. Hokey dokey artichokey. If this guy just giving that away. Uh, I did this. It's this going to be all right. I dude, I swear to if this is the highlight of this raid, I'm going to be very disappointed in you base, but it looks like this guy kind of like got a little bit further along. He does have some spikes over here ready and set up to protect his base. I like what he's doing. Not the most efficient and not the most comprehensive because it is, ow, hey, stabbing myself on the way out because it's definitely not like an impenetrable thing. So I don't know if this base was prepared for raids. That might've been more for zombies, but uh, hey, dude, I don't know. He had the electronic circuit chilling outside. So I'm crossing my fingers. He's got even better stuff inside because uh, I feel like you probably don't put your best stuff in the pickup truck unless he was trying to be a nice lad for all the people who might be raiding him. But in which case, I, I, you're being nice, man. But listen, I didn't come here to just look in the pickup truck. Oh, no, no, no. I came to break some walls and make my way in. Show me what you got, baby. What you got? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay, 
So that's looking like it might be the more uh, quote unquote valuable room. It looks like it's cased in level two walls. Whereas this area, uh, I think he was starting to upgrade it to level two, but he never got around to it. Or maybe just before the database update, that kind of like actually updated the bases that we can raid because this is a snapshot. You know, it's not like this is like what his base is right now. It's like when the last raiding update happened, it kind of like took a, it kind of saved what everyone's bases were at, at that point in time, you know? So he was probably just in the middle of building that up and in the middle of dying in a furnace fire or something. And ooh, okay, okay, five red tickets. That's a solid sign. What about in chest numero two? Anything good over here? Maybe, maybe some, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right, it's, all right. it's okay, it's okay. Uh, well, I think, oh, I'm seeing, mm, I see chests in there, so. I don't know. Ooh, you know, ooh, you know what we can do actually, which might end up saving us a little bit of noise in the long run. Let's break into this thing really quickly. And all sneaky deaky like, what, what is this he has? Oh, that's a workbench. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you see the first wave should be coming at us, but we use this small chest because we saw there's a small chest there. You guys can see the Zambies on the map. They can't get through that little crack. They, they God dang it, they're gonna try. Dog, you want to keep on uh, doing your thing there? All right, keep doing your thing, dog. I'm going to give him a nice little nice little workout there. But yeah, we literally don't have to deal with these guys. They don't know how to get past those defenses. So we have outsmarted the zombies, and I'm going to continue breaking in. And this way, we could even end up saving. Hopefully, we, A, get some good stuff from this. But we could hopefully end up saving the durability on these guns, which will make this raid technically even more valuable since we had to do even less. Now, if I actually cared about getting, like, skills and, ooh, la, la, a little bit of, oh, but uh, if I actually cared about getting like skills and level ups, I might be like, you know, sitting around killing these guys a little bit more. But uh, as is right now, we already maxed out our rating level. It does show that we're leveling up still, but eh, that doesn't matter. We have every single perk imaginable from the zone. Uh, but here's the problema, right? Uh, well, okay, my dog's going ham, so I'm just gonna let my dog do some work here. Good stuff, pup. I'm very impressed with what you're doing here. Attack the floater bloater now. I don't even have to use my gun. My dog's doing all the work, dude. Talk about a finesse we just figured out. Because the dog doesn't make any noise. Uh, I say we pick up some of that. I'm definitely cool with picking up some nails and necks. We can put this towards uh, the next pair of hatchets we gotta make. So it's always good to be able to craft more of those. I guess I could grab the gold. There's not really much else more valuable that we can grab. These things are good for like weapon attachments, especially with the Winchester coming out soon. That is a good thing I would not mind stockpiling into. Um, I guess goodbye to that thing. It's about to break anyway. Mm. Why don't we, yeah, let's grab that second one. Let's see what was in this chest. I, I would go back and double check the other chest, but at the same time, I don't think I saw anything too nutty in those two. And oh, look at my pupper running around to me. Wait, my dog can't get in here either? Oh, and that's kind of sad. But mm, I don't know, two gas. I, I already have a full stack in my chopper, unfortunately. Uh, I could get rid of this thing over there. Let's pick up some pine planks. And then that way we literally got all the resources we need to go ahead and craft up some more. We need like three more iron, but for the most part, we got the resources we need. Uh, wood and stone, it's not, it's not what I come to raids for, it's just kind of stuff I end up picking up at the end of the day to fill out the rest of our inventory, but our inventory is looking pretty nice the way it is. How much noise are we at, by the way? 43. Okay, so the next thing we break is going to cause a little bit of a stir, a little bit of a havoc, so I say we break this, grab what we can, and get out of dodge. Is that, uh, okay, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to just do that really quick. <laughs> See ya, bub. Uh, let's see what's in chest numero. God dang it. All right. I, you know what? Listen, I don't mind killing these guys because we all need a little bit of shotgun raid in our lives. Oh, wait. Let me time that a little bit better. Shotgun raid. Oh, my God. I shot his legs off and got his arms stuck in a wall. How evil am I? Who knows? Ooh, nothing super amazing. Ow, by the looks of it. Ow. All right. I don't care. Mm, mm, I kind of want to go back there and get... Uh, there wasn't really anything that valuable, but YOLO, just to be safe and just to spread a little bit of shotgun rain, I don't mind having some fun and blowing some zombie brains out of proportion. Oh my God, I, I turned that man into a potato. That man's arms, legs, uh, arms again, like he lost two pairs of arms. It's not even, a, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, you guys can see they're literally losing everything, but okay. You know, I, I could have done that. And I guess I was doing that more to kind of like showcase to you guys a potential strat. 
But so that last chest kind of, I don't know. I was kind of tempted to grab the food for the puppers, you know? Ah! I need some food for me first and foremost, though. There we go. Let's get that back up all the way. And we should be able to plop that hatchet over there. And now it's just a question of picking through the loot. Uh, another reason is because I saw the first aid kit. So I knew that we could plop that over there to kind of supplement our current supply. Uh, poop ton of beans. I'm cool with the poop ton of things like that. Definitely 12 raw meat. That's plenty of dog food. Hopefully enough to last for like half an hour to an hour. So I could get behind that as our dog fuel we could grab. Mm -mm -mm. Carrots are kind of tempting. Everything else is meh. I'll go ahead and booze real quick on some whiskey. Let's make sure that we're hydrated as well. And why don't we see... Let's just double check. Make sure there's nothing we're potentially missing out on that we might want. One phone. Eh. Eh. Not, nothing super amazing there. And yeah, right, right, right about the same. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this raid turned out. Definitely could have been worse, but... Hey, you know, we ended up getting some pretty all right stuff. It sucks that the highlight of it was again the electronic circuit and we got no weapons, but uh, at least we got some other decent stuff. We got some red tickets. We got a little bit of oak and we didn't have to use any C4. At the end of the day, hey, make that up to 20. At the end of the day, if we're not wasting C4 just to get one electronic circuit, honestly, it still sucks that after like the, the raids that you have to do quest for slash toss mula mula at uh, to get the raids from the raiders like the quest raids it does suck that this is what we get at the end of it but you know i i don't know man it's better than having to use a c4 to find out it's some hot trash so let's go ahead dip ski doodle out from there and uh, god dang it yeah if, if this is the raids they're gonna keep on throwing my way I think what what just popped up on the screen was this is this oh it's just an airdrop oh it's kind of on the way though kind of on the way though okay I'll, I'll make a quick pit stop over there i don't think that's the worst idea in the world goodbye Vic. thank you for being kind of hospitable was hoping you'd have some better stuff but uh yeah eh, i don't know man if i if i don't have to use c4 to get this type of raid I, I'm I'm conflicted, but I'm more okay with it. You know, if that's the type of revenge raid I get, dude, I'm 100% fine with that. So revenge raid's free. You know, there's no there's nothing that you had to sink into it. And let's a killer toxic spitter sink some bullets in his face. But yeah, like if that's the type of raid we get for a revenge raid, I'd love that because revenge raids is you mainly trying to get your stuff back, but also getting a free raid along the way. And uh, if there's a really easy base, a I'm getting my stuff back, and b I'm getting some stuff pretty much for free. Just need some hatchets and whatnot. And a we got some more stuff. We could go ahead and finish that up to a 20 stack, but nothing super notable. I get mm, the one oak log. Yeah, one oak log. That's like a third of an oak plank. That's pretty, uh, eh. I do have a very large amount. Eh, eh, eh I'm conflicted. All right, I, 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 I'm sorry, Iron. I'm sorry. Oh no, me white fight. Me white fight. There we go. We're good. We're good. Oh, you know what I could do actually? Because uh, we did end up using the rest of that hatchet. I could go ahead and get the best of both worlds. I have plenty of sledgehammers back at home. Not interested in that. But uh, with that said, with that, that'll be that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Cannot wait to what y'all got to say about the police station and all the shenanigans have to do with that. The Winchester that's going to be coming with it. How you think that's going to be incorporated in terms of the police station? If it'll be involved in it, the boss and what you think that's going to be? Some of the other things we can find there. All in all, tons of things to be hyped for. Get out of here, Fast Spider! Trying to outro, fam! And I can't wait to hear that in that comment section down below. But that's gonna start wrapping up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in the chop gas tank and join it. The chopper squadron. Best of luck breeding your puppet. Get in the true friend perk. Find in the blueprints, however that be, whether it be from an airdrop or going to the farm or whatever it is. Best of luck getting those blueprints and making your weapons even better through the form of attachments and building them up. Best of luck leveling up your own skills over here. Protecting your base, building it up, going out on raid revenge or the quests the kind of the quest that you have to go for best of luck defeating all the bosses the game has to throw at you the bosses that it will throw at us like the police station very soon get it past the multiplayer wall and the most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fantastic fantastic time all throughout but that's gonna do for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one i'll talk to you next one see ya